What's up guys? Brandon and Covey from Nerd Locker, and we've got Marvel Studio Entertainment News as always, because you face. can't ever not. We can't have go that. a week without more Marvel movie news. And actually, like we always talk about how we have a lot. It's usually like two or three things. There's like seven things there's, that came out a this ton week. Ton this week. It's kind of ridiculous, so we're gonna cut straight to it. Okay, so Kevin Feige was out doing Thor Dark World yes, yes, press yes, yes. stuff. A lot of this stuff comes from, we'll just get this out of the way, a lot of this comes from Kevin Kevin Feige during his Dark World tour thing. Talk about Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man, his involvement in everything, uh, basically Iron Man 4. And he's like, if, you know, what's James Bond at? Like 20 films? That was the idea. For Iron Man's the James Bond Iron of that Man. thing. Like, uh, he could he goes, be the same thing. There would be like a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and basically said it's in question, but they don't have to worry about his return until after Avengers 3. So we know he's going to be in 2. Obviously. We know he's going to be in 3, but I guess that means that there won't be a fourth Iron Man in between. Well, I mean, two this, and is three. Also, this is also very, very, very early. I mean, this is still very, very early planning stages. They're still going through everything. And like, if we don't have an Iron Man movie, <clears throat> Truthfully, I don't think that'll be the worst thing in the world because there's so many other characters that they have to touch and bring into it. I mean, Marvel's, they always talk about it. They have over 5,000 characters in their gallery. They have a ton. They have so many people and we've only maybe had 20 on screen, if that. That's, that's pushing that's it. That's pushing but, it. Uh... So like, I mean, it's, it's nice to have, the, have something like, okay, well, Iron Man 4 might happen eventually. And he's gonna be in. Uh, he's gonna be in Avengers three, of course. But I'm not. They're not pushing until then. I want to see other people before I. I'm see I'm not worried movie. because I mean it's Tony Stark and it's Iron Man. He had a pretty decent trilogy. Like yeah, that's good. Move on to someone else. I mean, there's no problem having him around. Yeah, you can totally do a four later, but there's no rush. We got our. Iron Man. I got my Iron Man fix. Uh, the other question that people keep asking him about is a standalone Hulk film with Mark Ruffalo. They wanted everyone to love the Hulk after Avengers, but uh, all they know is he's going to be in Age of Ultron right now. Yeah, that's the basic plan. Um, but what they did say was that he's pretty much going to be a huge, huge part of it. Like They're going to put Banner and Hulk in it a lot, which is, I guess it's cool. He's not my favorite, though, and I don't feel like him being a central part of the story is going to be that great. I love the Hulk as a character in the comics. I, you know, I'll read the standalone Hulk title. I love Hulk. I, in the Avengers movie, he was excellent. Yeah. But I feel like Hulk has been cursed with the same kind of thing that the Punisher has been cursed with. And that it's such a, a good character on paper, it's very hard to pull him off of paper and give him his own thing. What makes him cool on screen isn't necessarily what makes him cool on paper. You don't have the exactly. internal dialogue. You don't have like the things that make comic books great. You can kind of do it. You can kind of get there, harder. but I mean, like I, I will say, I loved Edward Norton being the Hulk. Loved it, but Mark, Mark Ruffalo, Ruffalo killed, killed it. it because I feel, uh, uh, I feel Ed Norton just was trying to put too much emphasis on the emotion. Same with Ang Lee; too, he was just putting too much well, emphasis Ang, on the emotion. Ang Lee with the dog. Yeah, it's whatever. Moving on. Electric. Nick Moving Moore, on. Nick Multi. Um, where else are we on here? There's a ton of news, and I have it on our little file thing, and the print's really small because I'm old. Uh, will Avengers of Ultron explain why S.H.I.E.L.D. and the other Avengers are not in Iron Man 3 and Thor? Not, not really. I mean, they all have their own movies going on. You, that's, what's Captain America doing? Why does, why does Captain America show up in every, uh, well, every Iron Man book? Why don't you watch why, why, is, why is Captain America not in every Hawkeye book? I mean, I, I guess, just, it just does. Uh, Winter Soldier is going to be kind of the bridge yeah. between, uh, Avengers 1 and... Two. Avengers 2, so Winter Soldier is going to be the whole... That's that. And then uh, uh, Thor, at the end of Thor, you don't necessarily get, like, I think they said it in this part, but, like, you don't necessarily get um, Avengers 3, like, tidbits, but you get more, like, Thor tidbits, like, Thor 3 tidbits, like, oh, exactly. oh, oh this is gonna like, happen. plot lines, like, kind of things. As Guardians, like, and there's so much so, you can which do with cool. that, which yeah, is exactly. great. And it, I, I just want them to take their time. That's what I really want. Um, where else are we at? Uh, talking about Hank Pym not being in uh, Age, of Age of Ultron. Obviously, they're going to have to just change that around. He said, there's another character who's pretty good with AI. I don't want to confirm or deny anything right now, but Ultron will possibly be tied into that. 
Oh, I wonder where Iron Man's going to be. Oh, my God. Do you think he'll be in Avengers oh, 2? Oh, that's maybe why he doesn't have Iron Man 4. I think that's what's up. Yeah, and right. honestly, I, I know that's like a thing that some people are freaking out about. Like, Hank Pym created Ultron. He's got to be in Age of Ultron. You know what? If you guys, you guys have done awesome so far, take your time. Do, do You do you, Marvel. I, I mean, I will agree with that, that the Hank Pym being the creator of Ultron is a huge thing. Um, it's, like, it's one of those things that like it feels like this part, this is the part where they're rushing, and they shouldn't be. But... It's Marvel. They haven't done me wrong so far. And that Captain America trailer made me like not care about anything ever that's bad about Marvel. And they're talking about uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. When is that done? They said it's finished. And they're really stoked on it because not a lot of people know about Guardians of the Galaxy. Which is cool because when Iron Man came out, there were a lot of people who really didn't know who Iron Man was. So it's okay. It's totally fine, which Iron is Man, fine by me. Iron Man was like, I mean, we worked at a comic book store when they came out, and it, it always felt like he was, he was one of the more well-known we characters. You know who he was. I know who he is. Obviously, he's a, he's a founding member of the Avengers. He's a temple character now, but I mean, six years ago, or what? He a was year always, before he was the Iron Man a movie. Big, he was always not, a big he, Iron, like he was always big in the comics. But I do. I knew people who were like, "Who's Iron Man?" Yeah. And to that's me, what that's like, what I mean. Like, how did you not? How do you not know, know who Iron, Iron Man? Is? He had a show in the '90s. Like, yeah, come, come on. on now. But either way, uh, director Brian Singer uh, used his twiddle, 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 his twiddle, twiddle account. That's uh, What's his little twiddle the new, account. The new Aww. Twitter uh, to answer fan questions about Days of Future Past. Uh, the trailer is now out, which I was not totally. I was sold. Sold. The only thing I wanted but to see was rewatching it and having him kind of explain thing or his idea of it. I'm I'm on board. I just hope it is good. Yeah. That's all I can say about that. Uh, but they talk about some of the characters we saw in the trailer. Bishop Blink is the one I couldn't figure out. The girl with the pink uh, eyes. That was it. I'm like, God, I know these face. Like I, I saw yeah. it. I just couldn't figure out who. Dude, that Sunspot, really changes Warpath, everything. Ink. Uh, that changes a lot of stuff right there. Right, Blink? That's totally cool. That's a huge, like, I mean, whole another team. I mean, Bishop, and then you saw the quick guys. And that's who that was. Yeah, yeah, that's Bishop, yeah. It makes... Well, I knew Bishop. Everyone else just said Blink. But I'm I was like, like, Bishop? It all makes sense. Um, yeah, they also said Mystique is going to be very hard. Jennifer Lawrence's Mystique, which is awesome because <laughs> so I... So the only thing that's going to be hard in that theater. hey oh, Moving oh, on... Marvel's Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. hasn't begun to uh, outrun its bag of tricks yet, it says. Um, Saffron Burroughs will guest star as one of the lower tier characters. And, uh, oh, she'll be Victoria Hand. Hand. Which, Which is, is cool. Pretty big uh, part of that whole thing. That's a huge thing. <laughs> and originally she starts out like a very evil, terrible person because she's with Norman Osborn. Well, okay, not bad. Norman Osborn was terrible, but yeah. she's not as bad. The this is the Lady of the Sword, her. right? No, no, that's Abigail Brand. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry. Um, Hand, Brand. Sorry. Hand, is, or... Yeah, what? Victoria Hand, Victoria yeah. Hand, yeah. Uh, she's Norman Osborn's kind of go-to Hill. when it turns into Hammer. Yeah. yeah. And then later on, if you read Bendis' run of Mighty and New and all that, she is very relevant and all that. Which is cool. I don't know. Are you guys still watching that show? Because I don't know a lot of people who are. There's a lot of other things they need to be introducing into that show other than second tier characters. I'm just going to say that right now. One Nick Fury cameo is not enough to make that show great. No, it's no. not. Uh, Kevin Feige, once again, uh, asked about a sequel or a third Thor movie, and yes, it is coming. Cool. That, that works for me. Eventually. And uh, we just talked about this a little bit, like, yeah. It's gonna you're gonna see the like the, the hints to it in uh um Thor two, the yeah. Dark World, but you're probably not gonna see Thor three until after Avengers two. And that's fine, that makes sense. Totally cool. Uh, of course fans are four. losing their shit over Loki. Well what about Loki trilogy? Who cares? He was the villain in Avengers. Who cares? So you got Thor. He doesn't have his own stories ever. He doesn't. But you got Thor, Avengers, and Thor Two. That's the trilogy. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. That's all. You I don't. Need. I'm not saying anything bad. Uh, Tom Hiddleston. I love. Great. I love Loki. He kills it. I love Loki in the it. comics. I love Loki as a character. I just don't think he needs his own trilogy. That's just fangirls being dumb. I'm sorry. Whatever. And not all of, them. Uh, of course, this comes up because no one can ever stop talking about him for ten minutes. Um, we haven't heard anything about a Deadpool movie in a while. It could still happen, though. Uh, it's, it's very small right now. There's middle impact in the studio. 
Uh, it's just the way they're presenting it to the studio. They're looking at it as a minimal budget, and you should just give it to them because they're like, hey, look, it's not going to cost that much. Let's make a Deadpool movie. That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah. Let's just let's, let's just wait. Dogs and, and guess what? If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because I feel like forcing a Deadpool movie is going to be like forcing the nine Deadpool books that were coming out at one point and all got canceled because, goddamn, there's only so much Deadpool we can take. Yes. So, that is our Marvel movie news for this week. I know there's a lot there, so we had to go through and actually look at the notes because I was just too much to memorize. I'm not that smart to begin with. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below about all this.